We're going to move into a, a stress fracture test, or um, a test where we're looking to see if there's any kind of fracture along the femur. And we do that with sound waves. Uh, if there's a, an incongruence with the bone, you're going to actually have a dulling of any sound waves that are trying to move through that bone. And that's the whole premise behind this test. So with this one, you first need to identify the pubic bone. With that one, you're going to take the lateral border of your hand. Obviously, you've already gone through and discussed what you're doing with the patient. And you're just going to move south, just walking your hand down until you get to the superior aspect of the pubic bone. From there, you're going to ask the patient, go ahead and touch that bone that I was right on there for me. Good. Right dead center, at the pubic symphysis, you're going to place the stethoscope. So please put that right on top, and you're going to hold that still. And then from there, you'll just put these on. I'm going to keep them off just for video purposes. But as I'm going through and I'm uh, looking for that congruence, I'm going to apply a pressure to the kneecap. And then I'm listening for the sound to go through. From there, I just move to the opposite side and listen for the same sound. If I have a dull sound in the area or going through the femur that I believe has a stress fracture, uh, then it, um, that would be a, a positive test.